in the negotiations between Hunter Biden and the oligarchs of Ukraine. The big guy could not have been the vice president of the United States as was Joe Biden when the coup that overthrew the elected government in Kiev took place. The big guy couldn't have been Joe. Hunter couldn't have been the guy extorting millions of dollars from the oligarchy in Ukraine. This was all Russian disinformation until it wasn't. The New York Times this week published a story epochal in its importance in which they finally confessed that the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story had been wrong, and that the material on the laptop had been authentic, that Hunter Biden was a sick, sexual criminal, drug addict, and up to his neck in corruption in the Ukraine, and that the whole sick story of the coup and everything that has happened since was ineluctably, inextricably linked to what must now be called the Biden crime family. I've got to tell you that if Americans knew, as they will, slowly but surely, that Donald Trump had been right when he said, Joe Biden is a criminal, and you, the news media, are also criminals for failing to report it. Donald Trump was right. Imagine that. Trump, a passing stranger with the truth. Trump himself, hardly a paragon of virtue either on the sexual front or on the corruption front. Donald Trump was the one telling the truth. The Bidens, who gave you their word as, as a Biden, were lying. The intelligence community was lying. The deep state in the United States was lying. The Democrats were lying. CNN was lying. The media was lying. And Donald Trump was telling the truth. Just imagine if that story in the run-up to the presidential election had not been suppressed, how different the world would look today.